Chairman, I commend you for holding this important hearing today. We sit here on day 59 of the worst environmental disaster in the history of this country. Eleven people are dead. The already fragile economy of an entire region is in real danger of shattering. We will be feeling the environmental consequences for years to come. And God Almighty alone, know, alone knows what the health and environmental effects of the containment and cleanup strategies will be. Millions of gallons of chemical dispersants and control burns. Sadly, we can't even get a decent estimate of the amount of oil and gas that's spewing out into the water. BP has been before this committee many times, and rarely has it been a pleasant meeting, because invariably they have appeared here to defend serious failures of the company. The company has a history of cutting corners, apparently for the almighty dollar. Texas City, they paid their $50 million in criminal fines. Alaska's North Slope, which was investigated by this subcommittee, where a pipe corroded, allowing one million liters, liters of oil to spill. In each instance, we were hoping that the assurances given by BP that this would not happen again have been regrettably untrue. In reference to a decision on how to secure the final 1,200 feet of the well, a single casing or tieback of BP engineer said, not running the tieback saves a good deal of time and money. In reference to installing more centralizers, BP's well team leader said, it will take 10 hours to install them. I do not like this. I am very concerned about using it. So also were we. On the same matter, BP's operations drilling engineer said, even if the hole is perfectly straight, a straight piece of pipe, even in tension, will not seek to center the hole unless it has something to center, centralize it. I want you to listen to this. But who cares? It's done. End of story. It will probably be fine, and note the word probably, and we'll get a good cement job. I would rather have to squeeze than get stuck. So guard right on the risk-reward occasion. Mr. Chairman, the comments of our witness today reveal little sorrow for the events that have occurred. And here he said, the Gulf of Mexico is a very big ocean. The amount of volume of oil and dispersion we're putting in is a tiny, is tiny in relation to the total, total water volume. And then the environmental impact of the disaster is likely to be very, very modest. I wonder if he wishes to stand on that statement today. When Mr. Hayward responded to the claims that cleanup workers were becoming ill because of oil fumes and such, he said this, food poisoning is clearly a big issue. And finally, most famously, Mr. Hayward informs us he wants his life back. Last year, Mr. Hayward enjoyed a splendid 41% pay raise, even as BP's profits dropped 45%. Now, I just happen to be a poor Polish lawyer from Detroit, but it seems to me that this is a curious response to a drop in profits. It makes me wonder what the compensation package of our witness will be to, to this year. Mr. Chairman, again, I thank you for your diligence and hard work on this issue. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today and look forward to working with you on this matter. Thank you.